No. Surprisingly, no. Because the civilian market, with two regulations, has opened up a 12,000 crore opportunity for us in the next three years. One is customers who, and the interesting part is a lot of the inputs came from customers as we demonstrated our units. So, a vehicle tracking system came about because we could navigate a UAV using GPS. So why couldn't be used for <coughs> tracking vehicles? So now we've got our vehicle tracking system certified and tested and certification is underway with the uh, ICAT here in uh, And we are just in the process of getting the certificate as the AIS 140, which is the automobile industry standard for vehicle tracking systems. And this presents us an opportunity by 2019, 1st April, where one and a half crore trucks in India would require vehicle tracking systems. So even at an average price of 4,000 rupees a system, we still are, you know, 6,000 crore market. And recently, of course, DGC on the 27th of August, they issued the drone norms, and that market is also looking at the 6,000 crore. And interestingly, uh, John Deere, with whom we have created an application using GPS for seeding, you know, high accuracy seeding, has also sent our you know, innovative product to the US for testing that. So the products are being used in, place, in places, and we can see revenue growing from you know, some civilian space to a very large extent. For a technology that was essentially has its origin in and applications in defense. So, how did this come about? Basically, when we create a UAV system, we create, we develop four competencies in terms of technology. The first is to control an object on three dimensions, the second is to navigate it based on GPS. The third is wireless communication and data logging. So the top three that you see, which is the, the tractor, the plane, the copter, and interestingly, the fourth device is a land level, which uses exactly the same functions as a UAV, because it controls the z-axis for leveling the land. Now this, the top, actually would translate into an INS system that can be used in the defense. And uh, we have done driverless work with companies like John Deere, and our system is also being used by Mindra Research Valley on their uh, MRV development, you know, on their driverless. So, and we've also, so there is a potential to do INS systems on top there, but uh, you know, we need to. As Sir was mentioning during his earlier introduction, that some of the revenue needs to grow for an MSME to be interested in defense. Otherwise, it is a long haul of you know 20, 30 years, like all Mr. Sundar had mentioned, it takes to grow. But uh, you know, for new age technology MSMEs, there are options with faster growing revenue streams outside in the civilian markets. So we need to find it to be attractive to be able to work in the defense. 